Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. This is episode 5 of uh, the BDG Book Club. This is the last one I'm filming for now. Um, I'll probably get to some more some other time, but like I said, this isn't uh, like a regular thing. It's just when I happen to read something that I really kind of dig and I think you'd like. The book I got for you today is uh, Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. Um... This is how I can. Uh, this is how I describe this movie. Take the movie Ghost Ship. Take the movie Event Horizon. Push them together. You got this book. Essentially, um, these people are. They're in. They're in like a. They're out in the universe. You know, it's a space set horror, and um, it's like the end of their like. A career or whatever, the end of their job. They're they're going back and they're gonna, you know, like be reassigned or whatever. Um, on the way, they they pick up a d distress call from this ship called the Aurora. It was uh, essentially think of like the Titanic, but in space. So it was like a luxury like ship, you know, celebrities on it and everything. And uh, it went missing, like, you know, 20 years ago sort of thing. They pick up a distress signal. So so they're like, you know, well, what are we going to do? And it's like, well, you know, uh, salvage law still applies. You know, um, essentially, if they, if they put a claim in, if you will, they're going to get a shit ton of money for this. Because this is like, you know like a multi-trillion dollar sh ship, you know, so they're going to be getting a lot of money. It, so they're like, what are we going to do? So they end up going and looking. Everyone on the ship is dead. They have been for a while. It's very brutal. They've like, people have killed each other. People have committed suicide. It's just completely, it's like complete insanity in this place. So they're very... I put it, they're, they're very kind of dubious. Like, it's like, should, should we, you know, should we still do this? Should we, like, just leave it? Should we, like, what, what should we do? Eventually they decide there's a thing in place on this ship where the top of the top, I guess, so I guess, like, the, the most VIP of VIP people could essentially lock themselves in to this front section of the ship and uh, they like a bulkhead had come down. Everyone else couldn't get into them, you know. And it would it was a bit, basically an emergency thing for the rich people to survive and let everyone else die. That's the basic plot. So they decide, you know, they're gonna move the bodies out. They're gonna put put everyone back like in the ship itself. Lock themselves in this front part, and essentially like eighty two days or something to get back to like like earth type orbit they'd go back there and they were gonna they're doing this in such a way that you know it would get on the news and everything that this ship had been found these are the people who had found it so it would make it very difficult for people to deny their salvage claim <clears throat> when they get there you know they get everything done they start up the ship they're going um stuff quickly starts going down the drain people are seeing things people like uh one character um like uh she falls off the like she falls off the bed and she sees like a dead woman under the bed like reaching for her and everything um you get this other one that like end up going into this room where a murder had happened and um she said like the commanding officer like waved her over and told her to go in and she's like no i, d I didn't do that like i was in bed you know, really interesting twist. Like th there's a twist in this in this book later on, where it comes where it, when it comes to light as to what is actually going on. It's a twist I didn't see coming, but it works. Um, all in all, a really solid book. A really solid book lumped with a bad title. Dead Silence is a bad title simply because we got a movie called Dead Silence. Nothing to do with this book at all, you know, but I don't know. 
I think I think you could have had a better title than Dead Silence, but the book itself thoroughly enjoyable, enjoyable characters. Um, essentially, let's put this way: like almost no, excuse me, almost nobody does anything in this book that you can't, as like a reader, say, "I get that." You know, it may be not what I would have done in this situation, but I get what it is. I get I get why they're doing this. I get, you know, I, I understand the logic, which is something a lot of a lot of stories tend to lose over the like over time. They tend to forget that you know there needs to be like an internal logic. You know, it's not like someone just doing something crazy. Because they can, it's like, no, this guy's doing something crazy. He wants the money. We get it. You know? Good book, though. So, that is a definite recommendation. I recommend this if you like, um, let me think, like, stuff like Creature, the movie Creature. If you like space horror, definitely. I'd also put this into the same category if you like underwater horror. Because it's the same sort of thing, like, the claustrophobic, like, there's nowhere you can go at this point. Like, you're on this ship, where are you going to go? You open the door, vacuum of space, like your ass is dead. Kind of like, like underwater horror, same basic thing. But I definitely recommend it. And let's put it this way, if you're a fan of the movie Ghost Ship, or if you're a fan of the movie um, Virus... Or if you're a fan of the movie Event Horizon, read Dead Silence. It's right up your alley. So yeah. That that's it for my first like batch of these um BDG book clubs. Hopefully, you know, maybe some people like these. Um like I said, it's not gonna be a a regular thing. But you know, maybe every couple of months or whatever, like when I when I've read something I can I'll just put something out there, or maybe even something I've read, like, years ago. I mean, honestly, uh, I'll just bring this up now. Um, I got a lot to say about the book It, uh, a book which literally, I'm, I'm not joking, it took me 25 years to read, not because it's like, oh, it's so scary or anything, no. I get to a certain part, and every time I'd just be like, I'm done. I can't read anymore. Eventually, I finished it, and I loved it. But, you know, that, that's a story for another time. So, yeah, that's it for me. See you next time.